In this video, we shall cover the following topics related to the collective unconscious. 1. Carl Jung and the psychological model. 2. An example of how the psychological archetypes work. 3. How the world undergoes changes. 4. The collective unconscious repository engine. 5. How Advaita Vedanta solves the problem of the collective unconscious. Carl Jung, the famous Swiss psychiatrist, popularized the phenomenon of collective unconscious and tried to explain the phenomenon of one's inner world based on archetypes or psychological models which existed in two forms. One was beyond individualistic psychic phenomenon, more at a universal platform. The universal model then manifested at an individualistic level through the psychological phenomenon within an individual. It is based on these models that psychologists determine the individualistic function of the psyche. The models or archetypes were generalized and studied so that patterns could be observed. This gave psychiatrists and psychologists a cue towards treating mental issues with patients. Many of the archetypes or psychological models were seen to be reflected in tribal culture existing in different corners of the world. Although cut off by space and time, the psychological expression of the varied and distant tribal communities resembled deeply in uncanny ways. For example, almost all tribal cultures of the world recognized a supreme power and had similar practices that worshipped forces of nature like the sun, fire and wind. It did not matter whether the tribe belonged to the Americas, Egypt, India or the Far East. This similarity in psychological expression is a definite archetype that belong to the realm of the unconscious universal mind or the collective unconscious as Carl Jung called it. It is important to note that both individualized and collective unconscious is covered within the realm of psychological phenomenon. That which we see and experience in dreams or deeper premonitions can qualify as revelations that find expression through our individuality although the seed of such psychological revelations belong to the domain of the collective unconscious. At an individual level, when a person gets signals through his dreams, it is a connection of the individual unconscious with the collective unconscious. When the signals are received without a sense of awareness, it automatically shapes or reshapes the psychological temperament of an individual. This is the reason why the world undergoes changes in moods as time passes. The world is a sum total of all the individual conscious and unconscious elements set to a program. Tastes of people change, technology changes, preferences, likes and dislikes of people change. This is universal psychological conditioning that is being triggered from the collective unconscious domain. The whole psychological system of the universe is in reality on autopilot. Human beings are said to have intelligence and raised awareness. But what if we are told that this so-called conscious living of humans is happening by the very instigation of the collective unconscious? This is hard to believe, but it is true. The collective unconscious is but a vast, inexhaustible repository of impressions that exist within the sphere of the universal psychological domain. Since consciousness is an essential component of the living process or phenomenon, the unconscious set of impressions are set into motion and a great colossal generator of psychological power engine has been set into motion from beginningless time. When this finds expression in individuals, it becomes personalized individual expression. Due to wholesale unawareness, the universal set of impressions in the unconscious sets the stage for events that get executed through people, circumstances and events. The psychological environment within individuals is the automated responses to external events and circumstances which again reinforce fresh impressions on the collective unconscious domain. 
Thus, in a sense, the collective unconscious goes on with its work of massive accumulation of fresh impressions from individualized minds. This initiates world and individual events that play out as a function of the collective unconscious repository, thereby creating an endless wheel of cause and effect. The bad news is that the collective unconsciousness can never be wiped out altogether and hence what has to get played out will eventually get played out on the vast canvas of time and space. The good news, however, is that individual consciousness can shape collective consciousness in the long run and alter the way things are shaping out right in this present moment. The more aware an individual becomes, the more he shall be relieved from the artillery of the collective unconscious. Indian spirituality has already known about how to fix the problem of the collective whole. What Jung has spoken about and worked on is the identification of the unconscious realm which is the repository of the universal mind beyond the conscious reach of individualized existence. However, Indian spirituality or the teachings on Advaita Vedanta has exacting solutions towards popping out from the grind of the unconscious whole. When an individual is made aware of the way how the individualized psychological setup works, he can then graduate to the next leg of eliminating the psychological ambience within his individualized mind, thereby falling out of the grip of the collective unconscious. I say so because the collective unconscious finds expression only through the individualized psychological apparatus. If this connection is dissolved, the individual shall not anymore be controlled by world events dictated by circumstances, people or events. Such an individual will have crystallized intelligence and vision which then will be a function of that which is beyond the collective unconscious, namely the spirit, which can never be grasped by the universal or individual mind. The one who is free of the grip of the collective unconscious has verily attained the self. He knows and lives by the dictum Aham Brahmasmi, which means I am that Brahman which is the source of all sources, even of the collective unconscious.